Hey guys, Red Phosphorus here, long time now see. Today, I got a completely invisible door that opens automatically only when you or one of your friends that knows the secret approaches it. I call it the IC Inlet. So, let's get to building it. You're gonna need the items shown in my hotbar as well as some boots with Frostwalker on them. The freezing mechanic powers the door. To start, find a natural two high step. Mine out the first step and set up a water drop into your base. Then dig two behind the chute and place a sticky piston. Clear out some area. Then one tick down and to the left of the piston, place the second one. Mine two blocks under the first and place a redstone torch. Clear out some space in the back. Make sure that the bottommost piston has a block to the right and above itself. This block allows you to make the bud switch. Slap down a repeater and right click it once. Then connect it with redstone. Add a normal torch to the right of the bottom piston so that the ice will melt. Make space for your bottom piston to extend and add your water next to your newly made bud. The build is now complete. Just cover it up and test it out. Just remember, you have to have your frost walkers on or you're not getting in. Here's the build in its stripped form. There's actually not that much going on here. All that this is is a T flip flop bud with a water block next to it. When you approach, the water freezes and the bud detects this change and opens the door. After a couple of seconds, the ice melts and the bud closes the door. One crucial thing to mention is that the block above the water has to be empty for it to freeze, so don't cover that up. Next, I'll talk about some alternate designs that can lower the cost or even increase the security of this door. But first, I have to mention that if you build this in a field, within a couple minutes of this being built, the grass will grow inside the build and the T flip-flop will have to be updated. Just place and quickly remove a torch above the lower piston. Oh, and don't use dirt for the moving lower block. The same thing can happen. Let's get on to those builds. First, the economic one. All this requires is a torch, redstone torch, blob, and sticky piston. As you can see, the piston fires multiple times, so it's not as classy or as quiet as the first build, but it is really fast to make. If you understand how this mechanism works, you might be concerned that someone else walking around with Frostwalker on will randomly stumble upon and open this door. While that's not impossible, I just want to point out how small of an activation range this door has. The way Frostwalker works, your feet have to be exactly one block above the water to freeze it. So if someone's stomping around on top of this build with Frostwalker, it won't activate. On top of that, Frostwalker has limited range. So taking all that into consideration, there are only 8 blocks that activate the door when walked upon with Frostwalker 2. To me, that level of security is already overkill. But if you want only a single activation block, here's me setting that up. Oh, and yeah, the T flip-flop bud gives a nice redstone output. So even though I've been demonstrating this super compact drop-down entrance, you can hook it up to whatever type of extravagant entrance you want. Well, that's just about it. Hope you like that one. Red Faws out. Oh, P.S. I've got some time right now, so for the next couple of weeks I'm going to be making a new trap or door video every Thursday. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Bye, people.